Frisbees come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but all fly in a similar way. They were first officially produced and manufactured in 1871, when the Civil War was just starting. Frisbees are great for entertainment and are still a big part of our culture to this day. The main things that make a frisbee fly are Bernoulli's Principle, Newton's Third Law, and Lift. When a frisbee is thrown, the air must be moving faster under the frisbee than the air above the frisbee. This creates higher pressure on the bottom, which causes upward net force, which is what creates a lift. If this didn't occur, then the frisbees would fall to the ground almost immediately. Another important factor in the frisbee's lift is Newton's third law, which says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The action is when a frisbee is thrown, the frisbee forces air down, and the air forces the frisbee upward, which is the reaction. There are many things that impact the flight of a frisbee. These include gravity, the frisbee's design, and how you throw the frisbee. Gravity pulls mass towards the center of the earth at about 10 meters per second. When you throw a frisbee, you must throw it high enough to stay in the air so it stays there until reaching your desired location. Plastic is the ideal material for frisbees because it's light and flexible. A frisbee without a rim can still fly, but it won't fly as well with one. Throwing a frisbee without any spin will make it tumble. The faster the frisbee spins, the more stability it will have.